Hey there, Simplifiers. Welcome back to my kitchen, where today we're going to talk about T is for time yourself. And I have a little bit of a theory that I want to try out. I think that I can unload my dishwasher while talking to you about time in the amount of time that it would take me to unload the dishwasher. So I have a stopwatch so we can time myself, which is what we are talking about today. So I am going to start that now. In the video, not today, the letter N in my organizing ABCs, we talked about people that put off things and how that procrastination can lead to disorganization. And in the comments, MomTown, who you can watch her adorable videos here, uh, talk to me about the two minute rule, which I've forgotten about, but it's in a book called Getting Things Done by David Allen. And basically what he says that if a task is going to take you two minutes or less, you should just go ahead and do it rather than putting it off until another time. So, where does that go with today's idea of time for yourself? Sometimes we talk ourselves out of doing things because we think it's going to take more than two minutes or a lot more time than we actually think that it's going to take. So I recommend grabbing a stopwatch and timing yourself on some of those everyday tasks that you think, oh, I just don't have time to do this right now. Grab it. See how long it's actually going to take you to do? And then when you see that it's two minutes or less, maybe it will be better for you and you won't talk yourself out of doing it the next time. The other thing in relation to time and organizing is the Parkinson's Law. And what it basically says is that your work will expand to fit the time allowed. And that is why I love sand timers. This one here is a 20 minute timer that we got for my children who like, sorry, that's really loud, um, who like to take forever to eat their dinner. So basically this 20 minute timer, we turn it over and set it on the table when dinner is taking too long. And then they know that that's how long they have to finish. If they don't finish their dinner in that amount of time, then they don't get treats or they don't get to watch a show that night like they want to. Basically the idea that the work that they're going to do is going to fill the time. The work that they need to do, being eating their dinner, can only fill the amount of time given, the 20 minutes on the sand timer. It's also really great to use a sand timer with kids because they can see the time going away and they can understand it, whereas saying to them, you have 20 minutes to finish eating, 20 minutes means nothing to a kid that doesn't understand time. So this is great for adults that have time management issues and for kids. And I think I got this one on Amazon for about $15 or so. They have all different varieties and all different price ranges and you can also get them at teaching supply stores if you're interested in getting a sand timer. There's also an app. I actually forgot I had downloaded an app at one time where you can set the sand timer and you can pick the color and everything like that. So in wrap up for today, as I loudly finish cleaning up my dishes, if you time yourself and see how long it actually takes you to do something, you may find that the two minutes that it takes you to finish it may save you time in the long run from getting behind and letting all those tasks around your house build up and create disorganization. And also, I recommend getting yourself a sand timer or some way that you can see the time going by so that you don't allow projects to take up too much of your time and go over the amount of time that you actually wanted to work. What are some of your time management issues? 
Is it scheduling? Is it over scheduling? Is it working too long? Is it not working enough? Talk to me about what your issues are in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of the remaining organizing ABCs. We only have about a week left to go, so I want to make sure you get the most out of all of this organizing advice that I can give you. Take care, stay simple, and I'll catch you tomorrow with you is for undermining.